In Creo Parametric, you can use multi-body modeling in conjunction with flexible modeling, and it's extremely powerful. Let's take a look at an example. And I'm going to show you something similar to what Martin Neumuller shows, but I'm just going to go a little slower so you can see some of the different picks and clicks. Let's start off by importing some geometry. I'm going to grab a step file that I have. Let's click the import button and then click OK. And then hit the check mark out of here. And so we've got the geometry imported. It's a little offset from my default datums. That's okay. Let's just hide the ones that we have in the model. For simplicity, I'm going to create some datums for reference. Like let's create a datum plane using this surface. Hold down the control key and pick this other surface over here. And that way I get a plane in the middle of the model. Let's just click the OK button out of here. Let's create a, another datum plane offset from this surface. I will select the surface and then use the plane icon off of the mini toolbar. Let's change this to a value of 0.375. That's good. Hit the OK button. And now uh, with that datum plane selected, let me right click to activate my mini toolbar. Let's create a datum axis at the intersection of that plane and the plane that I created before. Then click the OK button. And this is just going to give me something to use as a motion reference in flexible modeling. So what I want to do is take this part and I want to grab this side. And let's say that needs to be rotated 15 degrees. You can see that we've got a lot of complex geometry in here. If all I had was the import feature, it'd be pretty tough to do that. But with flexible modeling and multi-body, it's actually a lot easier. Let's start out by splitting our body. I'll use the split command. Let's select our body, which is the only body in the model. For the splitting object, let's use this mid-plane over here. Then we have the arrow pointing to the new body that we're going to end up with. And I'm happy with that. Let's hit the check mark or middle mouse button. And now if I expand the bodies folder, we've got body one, which is the body on the right, and then body two, which is the one that the arrow is pointing towards. Okay, so that's good. I don't think I need these datum planes. Let's hide them real quick just to unclutter the screen. I can always bring them back if I need to. You can see the seam where the bodies have been split. Now let's perform an operation. Let's select body two. And we'll go to the Flexible Modeling tab. Let's use the Move command. And it's got the body selected. Right now, the Origin Collector is highlighted, so I'm going to select the axis that I created. That's the reason I, select, I created it in the first place. And I'm going to drag this and rotate it. And let's make it, let's say we need 15 degrees. So let's double click on there and choose 15 over here. And it's doing some thinking. And then I can hit the check mark. And so that way we've rotated our geometry. You can see that we do have some issues over here with the uh, overlapping geometry. No problem. We can take care of that. Let's start off by, oh, actually, before I remove them, let's merge our bodies back together. Let's go to the model tab. I'll just go to Boolean operations. It's automatically selected to merge. Let's select body one as the body to modify. For the modifying bodies, we'll choose body two and then hit the check mark or middle mouse button. And again, we can see that we've got some overlapping geometry over here. Let's take care of that by going back to the flexible modeling tab. And I'm going to select a bunch of surfaces here using the check mark. And I'm just picking them manually over here. Yeah, there are a few of them, but. Not that big a deal. Grab those. And the same thing on the other side where we've got some overlapping surfaces. Just a bunch of left mouse clicks with the control key held down. And then from the mini toolbar, I can choose the remove command. It's the same command on the right hand side of the ribbon in flexible modeling. And it's doing some thinking gives us a preview of where it's going to put it back together. That's good. Let's hit the check mark or middle mouse button. And that seam looks good over there. 
this seam over here looks good, but right now we've got a gap in the geometry. Let me turn off my datum axis display real quick. Hey, we can use the same remove command. Pick this surface over here, hold down the control key, and then just remove again. There you can see a preview how it's filling in the gap. And so in that way, we did a really complicated operation using flexible modeling. Let's take a look at a, another example. Let's say I want to just split this part and it needs to be longer. Well, we can do that as well. Let me select a surface over here. Oops, let me go back to the model tab. Now I'll select the surface. Now I can get to the datum plane command from the toolbar. And let me drag this over here. Let's eyeball it. I kind of want to be on the other side of that hole over there. Now let's try value of 0.5. That's good. Let's hit the OK button. And once again, we will use the split body command. Let me select body one. By the way, you can see that body two is still in the bodies folder, but it is dimmed out because it has been consumed. For the splitting object, it's using the datum plane. I must have had it selected when I clicked on the split body command. So let's hit the check mark or middle mouse button. And now let's select body three. Let's go to the flexible modeling tab. Let's use the move command and I can select my datum plane as a motion reference. And I can say, hey, let's move this whole thing out here. Let's move it, let's say that we need this to be two inches longer. I think this is an inches. Let's hit two over there, and then hit the check mark or the middle mouse button. So now these bodies are separate. Even though there is space in between them, we can still merge them. Let me go back to the model tab, Boolean operations, and let's select body one as the body to modify, modifying it with body two. Merge is selected on the dashboard. Let's hit the check mark or the middle mouse button. So we have the body merge created. And so even though they're separated, they're one body, if we want to fill in the geometry in between them, Let's use a blend feature. I'll go to the Shapes Overflow menu and then choose Blend. And for the first section, I'm going to define it on this surface over here. Let's hit the Sketch button. I will use the Project command to grab all the edges of the surface. To do that easily, I'll use the Loop option and pick this surface over here. For some reason, the first pick, you can't see the preview. So usually what I do is click Next and then Previous. And there we see that it grabs the outside edges. Let's click Accept out of there. And this looks good. I noticed that the start point is on the lower corner over here. So I just want to make sure that that lines up with the next section that I create. Let's click Close out of there. Hit the check mark. And right now it's previewing a distance for creating the second section. Let's go to the Sections tab and for Section 2, instead of offsetting a distance, I will use a reference. Let's make it through this surface over here. Let's click the Sketch button. Once again, I will use the Project command and then use Loop. Pick this surface here. Let me click Next and then Previous. That's good. Let's accept that. Looks like the start point is on the wrong corner. So let's close out of that loop button. Let's grab that vertex, right click and hold and choose start point. So now the arrow is on the right corner and hit the check mark over here. And it previews the geometry. Let's hit the check mark. And so now we filled in the geometry in between there. So again, we started out with imported geometry. And we did quite a lot to this. We were able to split it, rotate one half of it, split it again, and then filled in the gap in between there. So lots of power and functionality that you can do with multi-body in conjunction with flexible modeling. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.